Do you ever find yourself feeling alone and depressed because someone in your life is giving you a hard time? Maybe it's a childhood friend who doesn't have time for you anymore, or perhaps there's someone else who's been bothering you lately and you just can't shake the feeling. If this sounds familiar, it's possible that you're making assumptions about the people in your life and those assumptions are being reflected back to you in the 3D reality. The 3D reality is a projection of your thoughts and assumptions, and it's neutral. It doesn't care what you project onto it. So, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, there's no point in cursing the mirror itself. Instead, you need to take a closer look at your assumptions. According to Neville, trying to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing your face. The world is just a mirror, and if you want to see a different reflection, you need to change your assumptions. It's easy to fall into negative assumptions about the people in our lives. Maybe someone hurt us once, and we keep replaying that thought in our heads. We look for more evidence to confirm our negative beliefs, and we find it without much effort. This is how we create negative assumptions about the people in our lives, and they rush to fill in the caricature we've drawn of them. They treat us the way we expect them to because that's what we're projecting onto them. Neville Goddard says that everyone is you pushed out, and this habit of making assumptions about others starts when we're children. We pick up assumptions from our parents and other authority figures, like this race is like this, or those people are thieves. We start to make up our own assumptions too, and the negative ones can cause trouble. If you want to change the way people treat you, you need to change your assumptions about them. Instead of assuming the worst, try assuming the best. Give people the benefit of the doubt and see how they respond. You might be surprised by the results. Positive assumptions are not a source of trouble, so try to focus on those instead. Remember, what you seek is seeking you. If you project positive assumptions onto the world, positive things will start to come your way. So leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. The reflection will be satisfactory. Assumptions are powerful tools that shape our experiences and interactions with others. If we expect good things from people, we are more likely to see them meet our expectations, resulting in a positive and fulfilling experience. On the other hand, negative assumptions can have a detrimental effect on our lives, translating into our physical reality. As the saying goes, where attention goes, energy flows. The law of assumption, as taught by Neville, emphasizes the fact that we are the creators of our own lives. Our subconscious thoughts and beliefs dictate our experiences and interactions with the world around us. If we find that people are not treating us well, it's because we have mentally assigned them that role. Every person in our life is merely playing their part, and every reaction we see from others is an externalization of our inner conversations. But there is a way to transform our lives and change our assumptions. It's time to stop playing the victim and start taking radical responsibility for our experiences. By accepting our own mistakes, we gain the power and motivation to make positive changes in our assumptions. The first step is to recognize that every person in our life is a projection of our inner thoughts. Once we realize this, we can start deliberately filling our minds with positive assumptions about others. This is easier said than done, especially when it comes to people we don't like or even hate. The key is to take it slowly and one day at a time. Start by having positive assumptions about the people you like, and then gradually work towards having positive assumptions about everyone even those you don't particularly care for. This may be a challenging process, but it's essential for personal growth and development. As someone who has experienced the struggle of maintaining a positive mindset, I can tell you that there is one thing that can help you overcome this dilemma. Developing positive assumptions about others is not something that you do for them. Instead, it's something that you do for yourself, for your own life, and for your ability to create your reality the way that you want it to be. When someone does something that you don't like, instead of reacting negatively, you can say to yourself, everyone is so awesome to me. Everyone I come across is good to me. I only attract positive energy and positive people. Over time, you will notice that the negative influences in your life will naturally filter out, 
without you even having to lift a finger. Many people have asked me about the feeling of the wish fulfilled and how to get to that state and maintain it consistently. I understand the struggle, as I have faced it myself, as have countless others. But what I want you to understand is that you are the creator of your life circumstances. I know that I have said this before, but it's important that you truly feel the weight of these words. Say to yourself, I am the ultimate creator of my own life, and repeat it a few times. Reflect on what it means, which is that nothing is off limits for you. You can be, do, or have anything that you desire, simply because you have the power to make it happen. Nothing can happen in your life without your consent. If you are facing obstacles in your life right now, the only reason for that is that you have let negative thoughts take over your subconscious. You have allowed your mind to be colored with those negative thoughts, and as a result, they have become your reality. This is how everything in your life happens. You have given it permission, knowingly or unknowingly, but you have agreed to that life. The most important step is to realize that you have created your life experiences. If your life has been good so far, it means that you have used your mental faculties effectively. But if you are not living the life that you want, it means that you have been careless with your thoughts and awareness, and you have let your mind run wild. Remember that your mind is like a wild horse. It needs to be trained and disciplined in order to function effectively. You need to be intentional about your thoughts and your mindset, and you need to take control of your life. You have the power to create the life that you want, and it all starts with your thoughts. So, the next time you find yourself struggling with negativity or doubt, remind yourself that you are the ultimate creator of your own life, and take control of your thoughts and your mindset. You have the power to create the life that you want, so use it wisely. It's time to stop approaching manifestation with a desperate and impatient mindset. Instead, start by building a strong relationship with your mind. Just like any beast, your mind needs to be trained before it can take you to your desired destination. But once you establish that master-servant relationship, you'll see just how loyal your mind can be to your commands. And that's what we're here to do on this channel provide you with tips and hacks to train your mind to work for you. However, it's important to remember that getting into the state of wish fulfillment should never be forced. It must come naturally and spontaneously. You're free to use any technique you like, but don't let your desperation and greed cloud your judgment. Slow and steady wins the race. If you're having trouble getting into the state of wish fulfillment, start by taming your mind through daily visualization sessions and affirmations. Take time for yourself each morning in silence and build a relationship with your inner self. These small steps may seem irrelevant, but they can have the biggest impact on your manifestation journey. Remember, the law of manifestation always works, but you must approach it with a calm and patient energy.